Hello and welcome to another edition of Mixed Mowers. Sorry for the delay in videos, but the weather has been particularly bad here and it is very, very windy. I've got my mic on, so hopefully you won't get a lot of interference, but um, we've just been hit with gale force storms and uh, heavy torrential rain. Not only that, I've been hit with a cold uh, throat infection, so I've been laid up for a little while, but I'm not feeling 100%. But I wanna get a few jobs done today if possible. The first job is I bought myself uh, a new impact gun I'm not expecting any any miracles from this at all this is purely purchased for undoing blades on um, lawnmowers and the also the the nuts on the flywheels this isn't designed to do wheels and all that sort of stuff on cars but it cost me just 38 quid off of Amazon I'll put a link below I want to try it out I haven't even tested it yet I've got to put the connection on the bottom yet and all that sort of stuff so um, I'll pick three or four lawnmowers out that I haven't taken blades off to see if it'll unrun them and if it does I'm on a winner if not it'll go in the bin so without further ado let's get down and dirty and let's check out this impact gun that I've purchased <laughs> Okay, so here's the impact gun that I've picked up. It's all there, I mean, you get an extension bar and you get all your sockets with it. You get the little feeder bits of her. That may be wrong, that one. I may have to change that one out. You get the awl that comes with it as well. The gun, obviously, an Allen key underneath. So for 38 quid, I thought I'd give it a go. It comes under as a 17-piece professional half-inch kit. If it were professional, I would be probably uh, guessing that's incorrect. It's, it's showing it does wheels on cars and all that sort of good stuff, but I very much doubt it. It's governed up to 90 psi, which is what my air compressor does. Now, I only have a 25 litre compressor, so I'm not expecting that to, to stand up to it for hours, but um, I may have to upgrade my compressor at some point. But literally, all I want this to do is just to undo uh, flywheel nuts and um, take blades off without me having to put my feet in there with a with a breaker bar or a bit of wood so let me get it all hooked up fire the compressor up and then we'll have a little look to see how this little impact does right so all I've done so far literally is just put a connection on the bottom of a gun the gun the the connection it come with was actually the wrong one for me so I just had to swap out a spare one I had so as I say it comes with a bit of oil as well and all I'm going to do is drop a bit of oil down the top and pour some oil in here. There is oil residue already here, so it looks like they have filled it up or, or put some oil in, but just to be safe, that wasn't done particularly tight either. So I'll just drop that. That's fantastic. I can think I can see it. And literally just going to put a bit of oil in here. I think is sealed in some magic way. Let me get a screwdriver. Oh, Alan Key, that might do it. Yeah, just push it through maybe. Oh, that's got a little lid on it, that's fine. So I'll pour some oil into the gun. Just so it's got plenty in there. And I recommend you're supposed to fill these up every sort of 24 hours of use, <coughs> but mine isn't gonna get anywhere, anywhere close to that. Just got to find that little tiny grub screw, otherwise we are knackered. So, found it. so we don't be losing that, do we? Because we'll be right, right in it before we even started. So let's tighten that right up. That wasn't done up at all tight. It shouldn't be really tight, but it shouldn't have any residue come off of it. That seems to want to go all the way past that. I'm not happy with that. I'm going to back it off a touch. Doesn't seem to want to go home, which is weird. Let's have another little look. See if it stops. It doesn't. You can actually see see the fins in there. So that is just a grub screw. So just you just got to wind that in. I might put some uh, plumber's tape around that. And it just goes flush. So that's the first floor. If you wind it all the way and it hit the fins. Let's just uh, double check these, which is probably a different size. No, they're the same size. Yeah, they're tight. Okay, I just want to pour a little bit of oil 
down the back of the nozzle because they are separate on these two separate compartments so if this doesn't want a lot just a couple of drops in there just to lube that up I say it probably already should be lube but you can never guarantee and all I would use with this once this all runs out all I'm going to use for this is just um, SEA 30 the old lawnmower oil just for doing um, oil changes that's what I put in here after that so right that's that done so that's pretty cool it comes with forward and reverse on here just by pushing the button at the back it's got forward and reverse and it's got the trigger as I say it's got the extension bar and the sockets with it as well so shan't be using the filter with it but no need for that so right let me hook it up to the airline I'll grab a lawnmower that I haven't had a go at yet and we'll see how we get on right I've got a little hater Harrier 41 here let's look at the blade on this one yep this one's not had a sharpen yet it's due to have one but the blade as you can see I've not, not done no grinding there at all so I've not had this off anyway shape or form let's get it in nice and tight Right, let's find a socket to fit it. That may go. Yeah, that'll fit. What's that? That's a 14 mil, that's what they generally are standard. Let's find the airline. Right, as I say, I'm not expecting any miracles from this little gun, but it would be nice if it just literally um, wound the uh, nuts off. So I've got it hooked up. <laughs> My air compressor may cut in, so I have to bear with the noise. So let's fit that socket onto the end of the gun, like so, into reverse. I hope this is going to work because this has saved me so much time. Oh, look at that. All them years of struggling. And I got the idea from... Uh, Paul with repairing lawnmowers for profit. He was one that put me onto it because uh, he bought that electric one, but I'm not really a fan of electric, to be fair. And my air compressor hasn't cut in yet, which is good. So whilst that blade's off, I should give that blade a sharpen. Let me find the next victim and we just, just keep going. I'll right, sharpen that blade up, front and back and dole it off on the back edges as well because I don't like my blades being too sharp so let's wind this one back on I'm chuffed with that so far first initial um, test so let's put that blade back on and wind him up for 38 quid if that's how it's going to perform then I'm, I'm quite impressed with that little gun uh, on forward, so don't forget my compressor may cut in. That's on reverse. And that's as tight as I need to be. Look at that. Okay, let's try another one. Right, here's a Hater Hawk 41. And as you can see, the blades haven't been sharpened on this one. Let's get it in a bit closer. Lovely, you can see it, back off a touch. Here's my gun, onto reverse. Grab hold of the old blade. The HT is just taken out by the way, just in case. Oh, oh it's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. Do you know how many hours I've spent on my hands and knees? trying to get these blinking things off. We all know how hard it is. 38 quid, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's get some sharpen. Oh, washer. Getting ahead of myself, I'm too excited. So my air compressor has only just cut in so that's done the two lawnmowers with a um, 25 litre compressor. So it's definitely man enough for a task to undo these. I'm going to grab a flywheel in a minute, see if I can get one of them off. It's leaking oil out of there ever so slightly. 
Oh, I need to put some tape around that. Uh, that's reverse, that must be forward that way. Yeah. That's that one. Let's go and grab another. So we've got a little mount field here now. Let's pull the HTL that first. So I'll continue. This one looks like it's been sharpened recently, but it wasn't by me. Let's give this one a go. Uh, onto reverse. Look at that. Took it straight out. Yeah, it's had a sharpen recently, but as I say, not by me. But oh, I'm loving this. One, all sharpened up and back edge dulled. That needs a new boss on this one. That needs a new boss. Boss pins are gone on that one. That's a, all the one up. On the forwards. It's not quite, not quite sat on the boss. Go on, fiddly fiddly, is it? <laughs> Look at that. I'll try one more, and that's four then. That was the one. But it's got the only one fit. This, like, this is like the Mount Field um, decks and what have you. So these are just the sponsors. But this has just come out of the shed. Let's have a little look. Take the HT off first. That's it. Get it a bit closer for you. As you can see, has had no work at all. Pins are in place. So that's good. So this one I haven't touched for months. Not even worked on this one, I don't think. So we've got a bit of oil residue coming out of here. So that is something just to be wary of. Uh, into reverse. You ready? <laughs> Look at that. So I've done nearly four blades. It's got to be inside five minutes. Right, that's that one done. All ground as it should be, and dole off on the back. Uh, that way. Nut and washer. So I'm really mega, mega impressed with this little gun for what it is, 38 quid. Uh, forward yet. <laughs> There goes a the compressor. So I'm getting roughly two, two blades to one lot of compressed air. So I'm not even um, making the compressor work. It's not running flat out. So that's good. Right, I'm gonna grab an old, an old engine and try and take the fly okay, wheel. So here's a, an old engine I've got. This is a non-runner, there's no compression on this engine. So it's no good. Let's, first of all, I've got a blade boss that needs to come off of here which I'll show for another video because I've got a, a new puller as well, which I'm quite happy about. So let's get a... Uh, it's going to be a 10mm, isn't it, I'd say. 10mm big with an extension. So this, this is just a good for spares. Tanks and what have you. Pull cord assemblies, all that sort of good stuff. That all costs money. As I keep saying, this is not industrial, not not for what for what uh, air guns are normally used for. You know, for taking wheels off of cars and all that sort of cable. That's not what I bought it for. Otherwise, I would have spent hundreds of pounds. The bloke down my local mechanic shop, he took the blade off of my Honda for me. Um, he said he spent four hundred pounds on an electric gun. So, and he's gone all electric. But I only wanted this little tiddly gun just to. Um, do exactly this, so that fits. So I've not had this one off at all. I may have to stop, stop it from spinning, we'll have to see in a minute. Into reverse. Let's get it on there. <coughs> Look at that. How many times have I sat there 
trying to hold hold these bloody things together. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, keyway's in place on this one, but there's no compression on this sweetheart, so she's she's had it. She's US this engine. So that works. Literally just zipped it off. And that's not been off for I don't know how long. I've not I've not had it off, so that's uh that's good. Well, I think that answers all my questions and all my concerns I had with this little tiny gun. Simply for what I need it for, it's perfect. So that's going to go straight into my toolbox and be loved and looked after because it's going to look after me. Okay, so there's the answer. £38. That's cheap. You, you, you can't get cheaper than that. that that's... That's crazy cheap. It's not even a quarter tank of diesel. 38 quid. It says oil daily. But of course, this is not going to be in daily use. Um, it's just going to be running for two or three seconds at a time. So I'll just keep an army levels of the oil. It's, it's very, 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 very important to do so. But I was able to change. How many do you do? You did four blades and a flywheel head nut. If I did it non-stop, it would have been inside five minutes easy. Whereas normally I'd be sat on my hands and knees with a lump of wood, a brick, a breaker bar, I'd be smashing my knuckles against the size of a lawnmower housing, then the lawnmower would go for a burnt down the end of a garden. But £38, and that just whipped them off with ease. And actually, with using my 25 litre um, air compressor that I bought from one of your DIY shops. So it's not an industrial compressor by any state, but this certainly did the job. So I'm super, super pleased. I hope you enjoyed this version of Mixed Mowers and I hope to see you all again very, very soon.